how to create a photo shoot using 3D clothing mockups with Photoshop and Blender. We'll be using the 3D t-shirt pack, link in the description. This video will focus on the photo studio. If you want to learn how to add your own 3D design, there'll be a link now showing up on the screen, which will show you how to add the 2D design in Photoshop. What's awesome about this file is that we can uh, change the angle by selecting the t-shirt. And we can either drag across the bottom here to change the angle, or we can press spacebar to preview the animation. To save an image, we're gonna to go to um, render, render image, and it will render out an image from the front. We can then save it by going to image, save as, and then we can name it however we want. So I'm gonna call it um, photo one. and I'm gonna save it on my desktop and just press save image. So that will now save the image on my desktop so I can just use it for whatever I want. To change the dimensions of this image, you can go to this, which is the output properties, and you can change the resolution here. Currently it's set to 1080 by 1080, which are the dimensions you get on um, Instagram for different posts. But say for example, you wanted to change it to uh, 2048 by 2048. then it looks exactly the same, yet it is a higher resolution image, which means you can use it for product images in your web shop, or if you're selling t-shirts or your own designs, it's perfect for just increasing the resolution quickly if you're not happy with a uh, Instagram style post. We can also take more photos by dragging across here and pressing again, render, render image. It'll just take a second to load and then it will render the image out again. I'm just gonna drag here. You can change the size of the image, zooming in and out by just dragging on here. You can also use the hand here to move it across. Again, you just go to image, save as, and now I'm gonna call this photo two and save it in the same place on my desktop. Wonderful. We can also make an animation uh, what I would recommend doing is going to the um, output here to make sure you save it somewhere you can find it. Again, I'm going to save it on my desktop. I'm just going to call it T-Shirt Render and press Accept. And now what it's going to do is render out um, 250 frames to make an animation. So if you look at it down here, these are the 250 frames, as you can see here. And I'm just going to go to Render, Render Animation. Let's zoom out, let's zoom in a little bit again. It'll take a little while to do, but um, it should be ready in about 10 minutes, the resolution 1080 by 1080. Using two, 2K resolution takes slightly longer, which is what I've got on now, which is why my computer is playing up a little bit. But once it's done, I'll show you the result. When adjusting the lights, it's important that we view the 3D model in the correct shader. So if you're in material shader, you'll see absolutely no change when the lights are adjusted. But if you change it to render shader, you will see the different changes in real time. So for example, we'll turn off the key light and turn it back on. We'll just show you again with the material preview, exactly the same, it makes no difference whatsoever. So just keep that in mind when adjusting the lights. The next thing we're gonna do is go down to the key light and I'm gonna select the data icon, which is a light bulb icon. Um, and then we can adjust the strength by changing it, say 100, or dragging it down to 50, um, or turning it off completely. You have an eye icon and a render icon. Turning off the render icon means that it won't show when you're rendering your image or your animation, where the light, uh, sorry, where the eye icon um, just shows you uh, during the development process. I'm gonna keep them both on. To change the color, you click on color, uh, and then you can just change the color here. It doesn't look like it's much of an effect here, but you can see a slight tint in the light. Obviously, if we increase the power to 100, you'll see it stronger. And again, if we reduce it down to 10, you'll see it far less. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna change it back to white and I'm gonna put it back up to 100. You can also change the color of the background by clicking on the background, making sure you're in the materials tab. 
Uh, a tip is to take the strength of the emission down from 10 to zero. And then now if you want to, you can change the color to say um, a blue background. Uh, sorry, not that one, uh, a blue background. And it will change the color here. If you change it here, it will just change the, the, the light, the emission color. So let's put the emission up to 100 and you can see that it's changed it slightly. <laughs> slightly, it's changed it a lot. Okay, let's turn that off by pressing zero and keep that in blue. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna increase the strength of this light to 100. Um, in fact, I'm gonna change it to 75. I'm gonna change the color to red. And then I'm gonna get this side and do the same thing, but I'm gonna change the color to blue. I'm also gonna reduce it down to 75. And that's pretty much it. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments section and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider liking and subscribing. It makes a huge difference to the channel and it'll keep you updated with videos in the future. Okay, thanks, bye.